In this video, I'll show you a really quick and easy way to add your own custom chords to GarageBand's touch instruments. I find being able to add my own custom chords to GarageBand's Touch Instruments Chords View is great, as I can add things like chord extensions and alternative bass notes. It's really straightforward to set up. First off, you'll obviously want to be in one of GarageBand's many touch instruments. I'll just select the default piano for now though. Next, I need to tap on the settings icon in the control bar. It's the cog shaped icon here. And then tap edit chords. Note that in order for the edit chords option to show up, you'll need to have tapped on this button to switch your touch instrument to chords view. Now I need to tap on the chord strip I want to use for my custom chord. In this interface, I can swipe on the chord wheels to set the root chord, chord quality, and to add an added note. So instead of the current C major chord strip, I can change this one to D minor 7th. Here's how that sounds. I can also add in a different bass note using the bass wheel here. And then I'll hit done when I'm finished and my chord strip is ready to go. You can build your own chord strips in any of GarageBand's touch instruments. Here's how it looks in the strings touch instrument. And in the guitar touch instrument, for example. Let me know if you already use custom chords in your GarageBand projects down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it. If you've been seeing my videos pop up on your YouTube homepage for a while now but aren't subscribed to the channel, well, you know where that button is too. And watch this video next for some GarageBand autoplay secrets.